Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Mac OS Ventura. If you have already downloaded the new OS, it looks great. It's chock full of features. And if you are ready to download and you're experiencing problems with that because it gets stuck for some reason, this video is just for you. For some of us, we might be running into some problems updating our Mac, and it could be in the form of not enough space, just the update getting stuck, or so on and so forth. The first important thing that you should be checking for is if your Mac device is even compatible for Mac OS Ventura. Here's a whole list of devices that are compatible with this new OS, and if you are in that list, then you can rule out compatibility issues as a problem. Sometimes when we run into these issues, it's actually not our fault. So for number two, you should be checking Apple's system status page. Look up that Mac OS update specific server on the Apple status page, and if there is a red circle or red light next to it, that means that specific server is down, and it's actually not your fault that Ventura is not downloading onto your Mac. But if it is green though, maybe it could be another issue. Maybe it's an issue with your hard drive space and at the time of this recording the beta is currently out and it's 12 gigabytes large in recent history with all the full os updates the full version is double the size of the beta so the beta is currently 12 gigabytes then the full version is probably around 24 to 25 gigabytes and if you check your system hard drive space right now and you don't have that much you should start clearing out some space there are multiple ways of doing that but the easiest way is to use a program called clean my mac x so i'm going to open up clean my Mac X and use the system junk module to clear out some of the space on my hard drive. With a quick scan, we almost found three gigabytes of stuff that we could delete, but let's review some details. All of this stuff, let's just check all of them. And just like that, Clean My Mac X made it really easy to clear out some valuable hard drive space that could be used for this new Mac OS Ventura update. There's a download link in the description box below, and I highly recommend downloading it so everything about your Mac can be simplified. Okay, so maybe you checked those three things and you're in the clear. So the fourth thing that you should be aware of is maybe your internet connection. As simple as that, it can be a problem if there's too much interference around your environment or whatever. Sometimes we just have to be a little bit closer to our router and sometimes we might have to just simply restart it. So go ahead and try those two things. If you can hardwire connect your internet to your device, that could probably add more security as well. When you're downloading such an important OS update like this, you don't want your internet connection being abruptly interrupted. The last resort for this issue is to actually jump back into Clean My Mac X and run something called maintenance grips. So with the program open, we're going to go to the speed section, go to maintenance, and run some maintenance scripts. And it really is just that easy to solve problems on your computer with Clean My Mac X. So there is that download link in the description box below. I highly recommend using it. 